Okay. This is Can we move? Wait, okay. what are we doing? Uh, are we going up? Are we going up? We're assuming she's not A ladder, here. an owl nest box, and six excited biologists. It doesn't take a seventh to know that we're about to ban some sawwhat owl chicks. A few weeks before, we learned that this owl box, one of 20 we maintain and monitor, was occupied. And at this point, the nestlings inside were theoretically old enough to band, hopefully allowing us to better understand their early life history and movements. There are a, a lot of them. Good. There are six. Perfect. To our surprise, the box contained six healthy chicks, which is well above average for sawwhite owls. This also conveniently meant there were enough chicks to go around for every staff member. They're quite adorable, so we were pretty excited at the opportunity. Nestlings, especially those in cavities, are usually very low energy and don't require any special tricks to handle. That said, they do like to backpedal, which can make keeping them in one place rather interesting. Banding them works mostly the same as an adult bird. Their legs are fully developed long before leaving the nest, so there's no concern about them outgrowing the band. While we have them in the hand, we're also able to get an estimation of age based on feather growth, and weigh them to gauge their condition. Yeah. Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> tiny little one. Yeah, so Look how tiny those wings are! The feathers here are mostly still in cheech. You're like, yeah. I'll say maybe 20... 22? There's always a significant gradient in owl nests. Unlike songbird nests, which only start incubating once most eggs have been laid, owls begin incubation from the very first egg, spreading out the hatching dates. While we banned a fair few of these owls during our fall monitoring program, catching local ones during the breeding season is even more valuable. We understand a fair amount about these owls' fall migration, but there are several movements, including a wide dispersal of juveniles just after fledging, that remain a mystery. We also don't know much about survival during that critical period just after fledging, or their likelihood of returning to the same place in following years. So we ban chicks like these whenever we find them. Who knows where they'll go after they leave the nest on their own? Their story is just beginning, and for these ones, we have a rare glimpse at how it starts.